Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, you guys, week two of lockdown, what sold? A bunch, actually. I sold a bunch of stuff, and I just was reading before I came on that they're having some issues like with the internet and recording and stuff, so I'm hoping everything's gonna be okay. There's not gonna be a lot of robot or pixelating or all of that jazz. So bear with me. Um, I'm gonna get this video started because there was a lot to it. I'm going to start with my bread and butter. I'm going to go into some Poshmark sales and I'm going to end with my items that sold for $30 or more. I'm going to skip my Mercari and put that in my next video because I have a little secret that I figured out that I'm going to share with you guys and I'm kind of excited about it. So I left that those off of this video because it's going to be longer than normal anyhow. Okay, so I want to show you this first. Uh, this is my Instagram account, and if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I've started doing something a little different. It's bolo underscore buddies underscore resellers, and I'm starting to do, of course, I share all of my videos, but I'm starting to do like little videos when I sell things, um, like little bolo videos. I'm going to show you this one. It had like 1,000 views. I don't know why, but um, I'm like, I'm going to start doing little videos like this, but I want to share this with you guys. And it's just a little fun way for me to reach you guys with a little like 45 second clip sharing a bolo. So if you guys aren't following me okay, bolo buddies, I wanted to share on Instagram, <laughs> sorry, I started the video. If you're not following me on Instagram, definitely uh, come and check it out. And here's some of the things you can expect. Share this little bolo with you guys. I did not know about these. I went to an estate sale and it was like a family run estate sale. I passed a sign that said estate sale and I pulled in and these guys were one dollar for all four they are lucite and they have like a gold foil look to them they're considered mid-century modern and they are really cool they are not real candles you cannot light these um but yeah i sold them for 35 dollars plus shipping so the buyer was all in with tax and everything for like 45 bucks and they are cool and they're hard to find so um if you happen to see them this is how long they are very very cool bolo so definitely be on the lookout go check out my youtube channel for more bolos oh ah, it's gonna play again okay so that's just so you guys know where i'm at on instagram if you're not following me i'd appreciate it if you'd come follow and i'm gonna do some different stuff over there all right the next item all right, so I'm starting with my bread and item, bread and butter items that sold during lockdown. So this little Fisher Price doll sold for $15. I took a best offer of 15. I could have held out for more. Um, these do go, you know, sometimes for 20, $25, but you know, it's kind of like things are questionable right now. So I'm like, you know what? 15 seems fair. I bought it at a garage sale, like in a bulk buy of stuff. So I don't have very much in it but the Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse doll. And this is the, the little sister doll from I think twin time. No like major, I mean her shoes, there's a little bit of paint wear, but overall, you know, decent condition. And she's from 2002. So people collect these and they like try to get the whole family. The next item are these Raggedy Ann and Andy patches. You guys, this is a major bread and butter, but I picked a whole bunch of these up. Like, I think it was an estate sale. I can't remember, it might've been a garage sale, but it was a long tail item. Took a long time to sell, but I sold them for $7 and the buyer paid shipping. So not a huge bolo, but you know, you can get these things so cheap in bundles. I mean, I probably had pennies in it. The next item is this um, Brio Mighty Red Locomotive Train. And you can see here, and I had to look up on YouTube how to install a battery in this thing. So it is working. I looked them up and took the time to put a battery in and test it because of the price that they sell for. I priced it at 30, there were comps at 30, but somebody offered me 23. I bought it with a lot of items at a garage sale, so got it really cheap. So I went ahead and took $23 plus shipping on this train. The next item are these Buffalo David Bitten jeans. I normally don't show you guys clothes because um, I'm, I'm trying to get out of clothes. But because this is the second week of lockdown, I'm going to show you everything that sold so you know what people are buying 
during this time. So uh, I did take a best offer of $12.25 on these because I've had them a while and I just wanted to move them. So my link to my store is down below in the description. If you guys want to check it out, make a purchase to support the channel, that'd be awesome. If not, no worries. Um, but I am trying to move out clothing. So if you're looking for jeans or shirts, I've got tons of clothes. Go check it out. All right. This um, Livy Active Tank, another item. I still have three left. And I picked this up at... Oh, it was a, what do you call it? A discount store. And I bought a whole bunch of them in different sizes. I have three left. Um, I, I took a best offer of $9 plus shipping on this. Again, just trying to move the clothing out of my store. The next item I sold was this express skirt, paid $3 at a discount store, sold it for best offer of 12. I have tons of express skirts. So um, if you're in the market for an express skirt, I have tons of different styles, colors, and all of that good stuff. The buyer did pay shipping, so small profit, good bread and butter. This Blatt's beer tap, I had about $3 in this. It was a bulk buy at a garage sale. I sold it for $17.60 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, this vintage Knickerbocker bunny rabbit. This thing is pretty big. Um, I took a best offer of 14. I just wanted to move it. I haven't had it super long, but I got it at a garage sale for 50 cents and I figured $14, it's kind of big. Let's just move it. So um, yeah, another bread and butter. And this thing is old. All right, the Principal Secret Advanced um, Mini Eye Treatment. This, I, I bought a gift set and I broke it down and sold each item individually. I did really well on the other, other items. They sold super fast and for really good money. I think I had $5 in the whole set at a garage sale. So I probably have less than a dollar in this. I did take a, nope, I'm sorry. I sold this full asking price of $14.26 and the buyer paid shipping. This I just listed. It sold super fast. I picked this up at a garage sale. It was a bulk buy. Again, I bought so much stuff. So I probably had about a dollar in it. It's a Fisher Price Imagine X DC Comics. Um, it's the Batman Heroes and Villains. And I took a best offer of $16 and the buyer paid shipping. Toys are really hot right now. This, um, it's an original vintage ideal toy company, Wishnik. You, you needed, I think is how you say it. I'm not really sure, but it's a, a carrying case for trolls. I took a best offer of $19 and the buyer paid shipping. And I got that at a thrift store and it was a, a bundle deal, a ton of like vintage toys. I have a video on it. So I probably have less than a dollar in that. These club room pants, I bought at a discount store. I paid $1 for them. I took a best offer of eight and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Connects purple tubing from the Screaming Serpent roller coaster. It's replacement parts. I took apart the Screaming Serpent roller coaster and I parted it out and I have done really well that way. I've made way more money selling it in parts but it does take more time to list. I have a video on that. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. I also did it with a Ninja Turtle like playset, but I took, actually this sold for full asking price of $15.84 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these uh, Terra by Batat Safari Zoo Animals. I think I probably would have sold this quicker had I put them with a white background. The carpet's a little bit distracting but it's an older listing. I sold these for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Thomas the Train from 2009. It is Kelly, that's the die cast train name. And I sold this for $12.32 and the buyer paid shipping. And again, this was a bulk Thomas the Train buy from a garage sale, so less than a buck. The next item are these Kuku Harajuku, I think is how you say it. I, I, I've got the tune in my head now. Uh, anyway, these are clothing, like little accessory clothing lots. I bought these at Toys R Us um, at the going out of business sale. I have been sitting on them for a while. I'm very happy to have them gone. They sold for $20, best offer, and uh, the buyer paid shipping. I have one more left. If anybody wants to come make me an offer, I'd be happy to sell it. 
The next item is this Hallmark ornament. I got this for about a dollar at a garage sale and it's Ralphie. Uh, one, one chance a Christmas story is what it said on it. I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. This Melissa McCarthy 7 uh, size 2X blouse. It's got like a mushroom print on it. I picked this up at a discount store for $3 and I sold it for best offer of $20 and the buyer paid shipping. And I've told you guys before, I like to pick up clothing in large bundles at garage sales. So I walk up to the garage sale. I'm like, what do you want to sell all of your kids clothes for? And then we negotiate a price and I bring it home and I put it in lots like this. I do really well with that on Poshmark. eBay is okay, but um, I sold these for $14 plus shipping. The next item is this Thomas the Train Take Along Daisy from 2006. I sold this for $14.08 plus shipping. And again, I had less than a dollar. It was a bulk buy at a garage sale. This is from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay jewelry lot. I sold this for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Leapfrog Leap Pad Math um, game cartridge. It's new, um, new condition. Got this at a garage sale. Again, it was a, a ton of stuff that I bought. So I probably had about 50 cents in it. And I sold it for $10.60 plus shipping. These Dockers pants, uh, the inseam says 30, but they only measure 29. So I have to mark them new with defects. This seems to happen a lot with men's pants. Um, I don't know why, but it's super frustrating because trying to figure out how to make the listing work so that the people buying it understand is sometimes, sometimes they're still confused when they get it. So um, I took a best offer on this of $12.25. I paid a dollar for it at a discount store. The next item are these Reebok performance underwear. I bought these at a discount store. I wanna say I had about two bucks in them and I bought a whole bunch. I sold these for $10, the buyer paid shipping and they're just Reebok performance underwear, nothing big, but I bought so many of them and you know I've sold four. So four times 10 is $40. So you can see where it adds up, but it is a bread and butter item. And I think I sold some of them for like 12 and 14 when I first listed them. The next item is this Catherine's bra. It's a size 46 tri triple D. Um, plus size bras do excellent. I sold this for $21.12 plus shipping. I picked this up at a discount store for $5 plus tax. The next item are these Savine, Savine, I'm not sure how to say it, monument pants. They're big and tall. Um, I sold these for $12.75 plus shipping. Picked them up at a discount store. I typically play two or three dollars for items like this. Lane Bryant shorts, same thing, discount store. Probably had three bucks in them. They are new with tags. I sold these for $14 and the buyer paid the shipping. This Wow um, Apple Cider Vanilla went like super high. But I was like, you know, this would be a good bread and butter item. So I listed it and it sold super fast for $26.40 and the buyer paid shipping. So if you see this, definitely pick it up. Um, and you can see that it does have an expiration date, but it's February of 21. So make sure you check for expiration dates on things like this. I guess um, certain things like shampoo and conditioner do expire. I didn't really know that, but... This uh, sealed jigsaw puzzle I picked up at a thrift store for $2. I took a best offer of 20 and the buyer paid shipping. This brawl is another Catherine's brawl. It's a 46B. I have new without tags. It does still have um, the little tag. It's right here on the corner. And it's just a size tag. But again, this was $5.35 approximately because you add on the tax. And I sold it for $23.76 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, I just sold this. It's a monster jam, like literally before I started the video. And my friend, Troy, Mountain Man Treasure, if you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, definitely go check it out. He told me, he's like, monster jam. He had bought some, I think he bought his retail arbitrage. 
But he's like, these are selling really well for me right now internationally. And guess what? This one went internationally. So that was kind of cool. Um, sold it for $20 and 24 cents and the buyer paid shipping. I picked this up at a garage sale for $1. All right. I sold this tonight. Uh, the auction just ended and it sold for $19 and 99 cents. Well, I guess it ended at like five, but it seems like it just ended. So it did have this little, uh, I don't know what it is, but, uh, like maybe, I, I don't know if it's a part of like one of the butterflies or if it's like felt, but that was the only thing that I didn't like about it. And I tried to take it apart, but I couldn't, but it's really, really neat. Maybe the person buying it can fix it, but I listed it at $19.99 because of that. Otherwise I would have listed it higher because it's super cool. It's a butterfly taxidermy. I do really well with butterfly taxidermy. So this was from a garage sale. I want to say it was like $3. And I sold it for $19.99 plus shipping. The next item has not been paid for yet. It is going internationally. My husband bought out a watchmaker's estate because he is into uh, watches. And these were women's parts and movements. And he doesn't really mess with the women's stuff. There were some men's, but um, the majority were women's. And I think I forgot to put men's in the title because I think that one, a couple of those are men's. But um, yeah, I sold for $24.99 with, oh, I did not mean to put free shipping. Oh, it probably says free shipping because it's going internationally and it doesn't calculate it. I'm pretty sure I had shipping on it. But um, if they do not pay, I think I will relist this with a buy it now and put it on Etsy because a lot of crafters use this. And again, I'm using crafters junk drawer a lot. All right, you guys, you made it through the bread and butter. Um, I'm going to show you my Poshmark sales, and then we're going to go into the big money items. Well, some of them are big money. All right, so I sold these Express Jeans for $25. Most of these sales came from me sending offers to watchers, which means I did offer them a shipping discount. So I think it's like $2.12 or something like that that I pay. So in addition to the 20% fee, I also lose that. Um, so $25, I paid $3 for these, um, at a discount store and the buyer pays the shipping. I sold this pair shortly after that. It's a different style, but also sold for $25. These are not your daughter's jeans, black and white track pants, size large. And you can tell I've had them a while because I have them laying on the carpet. I now try to use um, a white background and I have a video on how I made, how my husband made my white background. If you guys want to check that out. The next item is this uh, girls size four dress romper lot. Again, I pick stuff up like this at garage sales all the time. I sold this for $22. The buyer paid shipping. This bolo tie. I sold for 15 and I picked this up in a jewelry lot, not my bulk buy, a different one at a garage sale. Sold it for 15, the buyer paid shipping. This brawl, oh my goodness, I've had this brawl forever. It only has one photo because I had it before, like when there was that whole photo glitch, but it's an ABS Essentials brawl. It took forever to sell, don't buy them, don't buy them. Anyway, I took a best offer of $7 and the buyer paid shipping. I made money, but I probably had this thing for, I, I think this was at my old house if I'm looking at that carpet. So I have been in this house since, I think I've been here six years, seven years. So it is really old and I have another one. All right, the next item is this Cacique Brawl. This one I, re I listed recently. Um, Kasik does really well. It's a great brand to get a hold of. I bought this at a discount store for $5.35. It sold for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Catherine's Brawl. Again, a very old listing. As you can tell, I think that might have been at the old house also. One picture. But I had multiples of this one and most of them sold pretty quick. I sold this for $16 and the buyer paid shipping. And I picked that, that brawl up for probably $5, maybe three. It's been so long. I just don't remember. 
So these everyday fit Catherine jeans came from a discount store. I paid $3 for them, sold for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. This silence and noise skirt, again, very old listing, super stale, super happy to get rid of it. It sold for $10. I paid the shipping discount. So I made like $4 and 53 cents. And I want to say I paid a buck for it. So I still made like three fifty, dollars which is great. But um, yeah, I was just happy to see it go. All right, this jewelry maker's lot. Um, I picked up a bulk buy of jewelry makers items at a garage sale last summer, and I just listed them last week. And they are like flying out of my Poshmark closet. So this lot sold for $35 and the buyer paid shipping. I may have undersold these, but you know, I got the whole lot. I can't remember what I paid for it, but it was not much at all. Um, not much at all. So I was happy, happy it found a new home, especially in a time like right now when people are stuck at home, you know, they're wanting to do jewelry and do things like this, you know, they're getting crafty. All right. So let's go into some of the big, bigger money bolos. And these range from $30 up to 400 and I think 29. So the first item is this Native American dolls, family of the Heartland kid core. Um, they're like Barbie type dolls. Uh, this sold for $52 and 80 cents and the buyer paid shipping. I picked this up at a thrift store for $5. All right, guys, this vintage Johnson's automatic striker minnow with box papers. My husband and I went to a, um, an estate sale. We were going to his mom's house to celebrate her birthday and we stopped off at an estate sale and we're both like looking through the garage and he comes upon this, um, what do you call it? Oh my gosh, a tackle box. And in the back of this tackle box was this box right here. And it had this lure in it and he just paid five dollars for the entire box you guys five bucks and i am thinking now um maybe if we would have waited until after all of the lockdown and everything was over he would have sold this for a lot more it sold for 449 dollars. the buyer paid the shipping only had one bid but it had like 20 watchers and like i said i really think if we would have just put like a buy it now of 800 or 700 he would have definitely sold it for more but he paid five dollars for it i'm sure the person getting it is thrilled because this thing is super super rare and hard to find especially with the box and the original papers so a really great find for him i found some decent stuff but i did not find a 449 dollar lure why didn't I look at the tackle box first? All right, let's go to the next one. These little buildable minifigures I picked up at a garage sale. It was a bulk buy, so I got these probably for less than a buck. I sold them for $30.80 and the buyer paid shipping. These uh, Playmobil Cowboy Indian Horse TP's canoe weapons are from 1974. I... Got these again, bulk buy at a garage sale and I sold them for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage EKCO. I don't know if that's pronounced, but I got these at a garage sale and I think I paid a dollar for all of them if I remember correctly. Um, I also did a little uh, snippet on my Instagram right here um, on those. So again, if you're following me on Instagram, you'll see little videos like that probably before you'll see them on my YouTube channel. And I give a little bit of additional information. The next item, this Longaburger pottery, I bought a whole stack of Longaburger pottery for like two bucks. And I sold this for $30 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this Playmates Simpsons um, World of Springfield. You guys, if you see this, they're interactive. Definitely pick them up. Um, I have a haul video where I picked all of this up. I got tons, like a tote and a huge box full for $10 at the thrift store. And I was just going to like bulk things up. And my husband's like, no, you need to part these out and you need to put them 
so that they're like set up like I have this set up. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to figure out which figures go with which play set. Uh, I didn't want to do it. And he's like, well, I'll separate them for you. So he ended up separating them for me. And then I set them up and did the pictures. And I remember I was listing these on New Year's Eve. So it did take a little while to sell. But I've sold a bunch of them, but I still have a bunch left. So you have to wait on the right buyer for these. This one sold for $44 and the buyer paid shipping. And the next one, this one sold for $88. And this is the Simpsons World of Springfield Elementary, seven figures and accessories. And again, you know, I've got the accessories that go with each figure. I've got the little uh, cards. So $88. And both of these Simpsons items sold on the same night to different people. And they were both international buyers. So that's kind of fun. So I am not showing you, for some reason when I'm clicking that tab, it is closing the thing. So I'm not showing you my Mercari sales for the week of lockdown again, because I have a little trick tip type deal that um, I figured out. And I wanna share it with you guys in a short video just to show you kind of what I did and it, how it worked out. And I'm kind of excited about it. And I'm hoping you guys can learn from it and make some sales. All right, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.